By the way, there's something about you that's giving off a little bit of a Clark Kent vibe right now. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know what it is. I think it's because I shaved my mustache. Makes sense. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Very important. The way it moves. <laughs> knees up. Knees up. Having a knees up. That's a party. Don't. It's a party. Yeah. yeah. Having a bit of a party. Muppet. Fool. A fool. Nice way of putting it. Or that's, that's the term we use for a series of characters created by Jim Henson. Spend a penny. That comes from the fact that you used to have to put a one pence into the lavatory stalls um, in order to access them. Access them. Um, to do a number one or number two, or if you're unlucky, a number three. How many are there of you? A beach, oh, how many are of yeah, not beaches? Brothers. brothers. You said my youngest um, brother. There are five of us total, and all, I am the all, second youngest. All boys? Yes. Wow. Do you all have, do you resemble each other? Uh, we do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to spend a penny is go number one. Yeah, it did. And yeah. what is it if you do a number two? A pound? <laughs> <laughs> All math and no trousers. That means that someone tends to uh, be verbally aggressive, but never actually fights. Can't back it up, basically. Yeah. Bit of a damp squib, isn't it? It's <laughs> underwhelming. It's, yeah, <laughs> underwhelming. It's when you expect a lot for something and then not much happens. Henry yeah. Cavill, I love you with your glowing skin and your perfect face and the beautiful curls in your hair. I just want to hug you because you are the love of my life. People are not nearly as thirsty as I thought they might be. I've read worse things in my comments. What kind of dog is Cal? Cal is an American Akita. There he is. Aww. That's cute. He, he honestly is, is my best friend, and uh, I don't know if I could do it without him. Did you, who, gets, who gets more attention? He Cal? does. He does? Really? He does, yes, and it's designed that way. How so? Oh, so you got a dog that people would look at, and then maybe Absolutely. they don't notice. Yeah, half the time. It works. It, it's a double-edged sword. Sometimes... It's such a curse, isn't it? it, it yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll give you an example. Henry and I were on set of Mission Impossible Fallout, and we were talking about the character of Superman, which Henry portrays. And uh, Henry began to list a number of comic books which Superman appears in. And I thought to myself, Henry knows his onions. It's because I'm an onion farmer. <laughs> United tops of Smash Bros. <laughs> Henry Cavill can, like, stick his tongue down my throat, I guess. Thanks. Thanks for the opportunity. That definitely got thirstier. Henry Cavill could destroy my body and my life, and all I'd say is, so does tomorrow work for you too? Yes, Sam. Tomorrow does work for me too. <laughs> do, they, do they love the fact and brag about the fact that you are Superman as well? Absolutely, yes. Uh, and a good story, my uh, nephew Thomas, he went to school one day and it was you know, talk about your family day and he was t telling all the, the school kids that his uncle was Superman. And of course the teacher then said, Thomas, that we don't lie in school. You're yeah. a bit stupid. But then if you're a knob, you're, you are stupid but less it's an affectionate kind of term. But it, it's nice, it's, if you're a bit of a knob, like I'd say to you, oh, stop being a knob, Henry, and I wouldn't expect you to get offended. But if I called you a dick, then I'd be like, I'd be wrong, because yeah. you're not hey, a dick. Nick. You're a lovely man. Well, sorry. <laughs> Hello, I'm Simon Pegg. Hello, I'm Henry Cavill. And we're here today to, to teach, teach you about English slang, or as we call it, Biggity biggity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, we don't do that. Right. Sort of, I, I appreciate good storytelling, yes, but it's, it's not a good habit to get into. And Thomas was stood by his guns went, no, 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 but my, my uncle is Superman, and, and I swear he is, I promise. And so she got upset with him. Uh, he got in trouble. And then my sister-in-law was pulled aside when she was picking him up from school, and the teacher said, look, we don't, we don't encourage our children to tell lies in school. <laughs> Tosh. Rubbish. A load of old tosh. Yeah, it's, uh, that's ridiculous. Not to be confused with tash. Who is most likely to have a secret skill that would help them in a Mission Impossible situation? That's Tom. It, although his skills aren't secret, everyone knows I what he like can do. I feel like everyone knows that he's basically yeah. a superhero in real life. Then I reckon Simon Pegg. What secret skills do you think he has? I don't know, but I reckon he's got a few things up his sleeve. I feel like he's got something going on there. Yeah, he hides sneaky. it with a comedy, yeah. but you know he's secretly like a spy. He's actually an arch villain. Knowing that you're going to play this type of aggressive character, the hammer, the bull, does that affect your mindset outside of the film? No, no it doesn't. Uh, the only thing that really affected my mindset was, obviously when I was shooting I had a moustache. Uh -huh. And so it was very... <laughs> You forget. You forget a lot of the time. Yeah. And I had to keep a reminder. Like, I'd look at Mary like, oh, yeah, I forget. I have a moustache. So easy to forget that you have a moustache. It's easy. Yeah. So easy. Moustache. 
massage. Yeah. It's, it's good to see you here, well and alive, because there was a rumor that you had passed. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, a, a friend told me that I was dead. Uh, <laughs> Via text, obviously, uh, no one right, calls. Right. <laughs> and I checked online, and sure enough, I found out I was dead, according to Google. That's got to be a little unnerving. It to... definitely made me feel very alive. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot box. Is that TV? I think that's the TV. TV? Idiot box. Idiot box is the TV, because everything that's on it is rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Apart and from when Mission Impossible comes out on TV. On TV. And, and some it? shows like TV. Handmaid's Tale and Westworld. Everything else is rubbish. Billions is quite good. Billions is great. Actually, there's lots of really good things on, on the idiot box. It was just uh, really off the top of my head. I, I, this is... Yeah. <laughs> this is the jet that's going around. It just, it just, just felt right at the time. And then um, I, I got kind of shy afterwards, and I didn't do it for the next take. And then McHugh came up to me and said, what are you doing? Why do the thing again? And I said, what thing? <laughs> he came and showed me the monitor. I was like, oh, OK, cool. And then we, we stuck with it, and it became, became a thing. No. Knob, it's... It's your knob, isn't it? Yeah, it's... Your penis. Yeah. You say, I'm a knob, you know, if you banged yeah. into a wall or... Or don't be a knob. Don't be a knob. If you think of all the penile epithets, they all have different meanings. Like, if you're a prick, then you're a... You prick. And I recommend that you would do the same. And, of course, then she said, about what, exactly? <laughs> <laughs> Knowing that Thomas is, he does tell tall tales. <laughs> but she, was, she was all in. She's like, oh, no, not again. Right. And then she went, oh, uh, she was saying that his uncle is, is Superman. She went, oh, I hate, I hate to tell you this. It's all true. <laughs> right, yeah. It's a dog's bollocks. Mm. Dog's bollocks, or the, or the smaller version, the mutt's nuts, or the cat's pajamas, or the hands rounds. Uh, it's basically the best, the best of the, the best. dog's bollocks. Yeah. Why dog's testicles represent that, I don't know. But. I don't know. But if you see a dog with a really good pair... Everyone does remark on them. Yeah, because most dogs, unfortunately... You see have... that dog's nuts? Yeah, look at the size of that dog's bollocks. They're the dog's bollocks. They're the dog's bollocks. OK, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it in slow motion and then count down from three, three, two, one, and then go, and then everyone does it together. Just do not hit the person standing next to you. <laughs> OK? <laughs> Disclaimer. <laughs> okay, sure. Okay, so hands up first, like this. And then right arm down and back. Left arm down and back. And then take one step forward. Right? Okay, okay we could turn this into a dance. <laughs> can I just say it? Henry Cavill can destroy me like legit. He can Superman this hoe. That's very kind of you. I appreciate your vigor. But um, don't hurt yourself. Be careful out there. I that you just looked at Tom Cruise the way Julian looks at you. <laughs> he, he, is, he, he is a rather delicious snack like that. He really is amazing. Who is most likely to get the Mission Impossible theme tune stuck in your head? Oh, Simon. He Simon, more? he would do something like that deliberately just to mess with your head. Just before it takes yeah. it and you just... Dun, dun, yeah, dun. He, he would literally do it deliberately to, so you had something stuck in your head which was just going <laughs> to ruin your day. If you and Tom Cruise, mano a mano, no cameras, no stunts, you are just on the street. You, Cruise, who's gonna win? Well, what we'd probably do is we'd get a makeup team in <laughs> and then we'd we'll cover ourselves, cover ourselves <laughs> in, yeah, in, in cuts and bruises, have our hair look perfect, right, like right. just tousled <laughs> enough and then stand out and tell a great story about it. <laughs> twit. Twit. An idiot. A twit is a a foolish person. Yeah. You twit. Or uh, the noise a bird makes. Yes. It, when surprised. Yes. Argy bargy. That's like a, when you start getting shovy and pushy and you want a bit of a fight or a scrap. Yes. It's, um, yeah, it's a bit of aggro, isn't it? Yeah. A bit of argy bargy. He posted a little something. Did you see this video that he posted to say, like, bye bye to. <laughs> But he would oh. win. Any moment spent with Simon, really, just sitting down. I think Simon and I view the world through a series of punchlines. <laughs> so it's fun sitting with Simon. Everyone's like a family, really, and a very welcoming family. Obviously, I was a new guy coming in, and it, I didn't feel like the new guy at all. Everyone just, it was just open arms. 
I would let Henry Cavill split me in half. I'm just gonna say it. Thanks for saying it. What do people get up to in their free time? Henry Cavill could leave me on read at 4.30, text back at 8.47, and I'd reply at 8.46. It's a neat trick. <laughs> Hashtag was shaved but not forgotten. Yes. Did you really become attached to it? Uh, it literally became attached to me. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I did actually. The first day after I'd shaved it, I, I, was, I was looking forward to shaving it. And then it suddenly felt like I'd done something terrible. Mm. Like I, I'd lost a friend or something. <laughs> And uh, then I realized it wasn't a friend at all, and <laughs> I was happy to see it gone. The fuzz. Oh, now the fuzz. Didn't someone make a movie? <laughs> I think somebody did. The fuzz comes from the U.S. Um, that was because uh, the the police had big mustaches and. Oh really? Yeah, seriously, yeah. That that was. It comes from. That's your own. We've adopted it because of one of our own who made a movie. Yeah. Titled that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> corker. Now corker is someone who applies uh, a stopper to a wine bottle on a, on a professional <laughs> level. <laughs> it means something's really good. Yeah. Henry's a corker. He's a bit isn't of, it, he's isn't a bit it of a come from a, from a cricket player? Is it? I think so. The etymology of the word corker. Oh, um, Alexander Corker. Yes. The really good <laughs> cricket player. <laughs> As an actor, how important is it for you to change your appearance from film to film? I don't want to be the guy who relies on tricks. As right. always, it's a different appearance. I want... A bit of both. I think an appearance is very, very useful, and I do like to chameleon myself into another character. Mm. In the same way that theatre actors do, that is a real art as well, and so I want to utilise that at the same time as utilising all the wonderful tricks of, of film and having having these different looks every time. I really do need to go to Twitter. I could spend hours reading this stuff. Okay, this is the last one. Henry Cavill definitely exudes big dick energy. And to make it even better, I'm 99% sure He's actually big. I'm weak just thinking about it. Thank you. Why the 1%? I ask. And furthermore, no comment. Mm -hmm. and, and Tom eventually, uh, he said to me, look, Henry, I understand what you're saying. I, I would love, love, love for you to do it. But if you do, the chances are that you will kill me and everyone else in the process. So doofer. Uh, doofer, well, I have someone, a colleague of mine, who uses a doofer for pretty much everything. Doofer is a thing. It can be like, if I said to Henry, pass me the doofer, I don't know what I'm gonna get. It might be a remote control. Yeah. It might be anything. Anything. Do you get called daddy a lot? <laughs> uh, on the internet, sure. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> He's <people>. a vegan. <laughs> He's a vegan with lactose intolerance. <laughs> hard cheese, I, I don't know, what does that mean? It means tough luck. Does it? Yeah, oh, so hard cheese, mate. Okay, I'm gonna use it from now on. If you didn't get it, well then, hard cheese to you is basically that. I don't do healthy at Christmas. <laughs> yeah. And eventually a friend came around to my house and saw the cake sitting there and they said, what's that? And I said, oh, that's a, that's a cake from Tom Cruise. And they said, I'm sorry, say that again? I said, that's a, that's a cake from Tom Cruise. And they went, well, why aren't you eating it? And I said, because it's probably healthy. And they went, cut it open. Cut it open, it is the most luxurious, unhealthy cake. Coconut could, cake. Yeah, coconut yeah, cake. Yeah, yeah. And so um, I then ate the whole thing. <laughs> How long does it take to shoot a scene like that? We had it scheduled for four days, but for ended up days. shooting for four weeks. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's the problem Whoa. with working with uh, perfectionists like uh, McHugh and Tom Cruise is that when, if it's not right, you just keep on shooting. So you spend a shooting. whole month in a bathroom? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> with two guys on camera. Yeah. Hard cheese. <laughs> Which was another movie that Henry was in. Hard oh, cheese. Hard cheese. Sorry, <laughs> Henry Cavill. I've never heard of that. Hard bitten oh, police officer, Dave Cheese. <laughs> Did he give you a present at the end of this film? Uh, we, the, the famous Christmas thing, which happens every year, is Tom sends a Christmas cake. A coconut so, cake, yes. Coconut cake, right. yes. And so I get this, I heard about this coconut cake. Right. And then one day I received said coconut cake, which said, Happy Christmas, Henry, from Tom Cruise. Right. Which is pretty cool, by the way. Right. Hey, it's Gigi Hadid. For more videos like this, click here. Hi, I'm Cara Delevingne. Please don't forget to subscribe by clicking this button right here. Boop. Thanks for watching.